and welcome back to my channel miss medicine if you are new here this is dr garima and this is the series of 28 notebook and this is part 7 named fractures vertebral fracture jaffron fracture burst fracture of the atlas c1 and hangman's fracture traumatic spondylolisthesis of c2 fracture of pedicle and pars intercularis of c2 next is the clay schrobler's fracture fracture of the spinous process of t1 chance fracture horizontal fracture of l1 and l2 vertebra body pedicles and laminae next are the upper limb fracture little ligers elbow fracture avulsion fracture of the medial epicondyle of the humerus next is the pedmont's fracture closed fracture of the radius at the junction of the middle and distal third without any associated ulnar fracture Next is the Burton's fracture, intraarticular fracture of distal articular surface of the radius Burton fracture. Next is the Schoffer's fracture, fracture of radius above the stylet process due to the backward jerk of the steering handle of old cars. Next is the Coley's fracture, fracture occurring at corticocalcaneal junction at the distal end of the radius with dorsal tilt and lateral shift deformity, dinner fog deformity. Next is the Smith fracture, which is also known as reverse Coley's. Fracture occurring at the corticocalcaneal junction of the distal end of the radius with ventral tilt. Next is the Galeazzi fracture, reverse Montagia fracture of distal third of the radius with dislocation of distal radio ulnar joint. Montagia fracture, fracture proximal third of the ulna with dislocation of proximal radi radio ulnar joint. Montagia, ulna, radius, Galeazzi. Murg, you can learn by the mnemonic Murg. Next is the humerus fracture, high Montagia fracture in smaller children. Next is the Bennett's fracture dislocation, oblique intraarticular fracture of the first metacarpal with the subluxation of the trapezium metacarpal joint. Next is the Moore's fracture, fracture distal end of the radius with luxation of the end of the ulna. Rolando's fracture, old Bennett's fracture, old intraarticular fracture of the first metacarpal. Boxer's fracture, ventrally displaced fracture through the neck of the fifth metacarpal. When you punch object with a closed fits, you fourth or fifth metacarpal bone takes the force of the impact and breaks its neck. Next is the lower limb fractures, unsolved fracture, intracapsular fracture of the neck of the femur, Seagone's fracture, ACL tear of the knee, Stridard's fracture, fracture medial condyle of the femur, a bony outgrowth from that region is called Pellegrin's disease. Next is the Masonier's fracture, ankle injury with fracture of the neck of the fibula. Bumper's fracture, computed depressed fracture of the lateral condyle of the tibia, diagnosis of tibial plateau fracture. Next is the Gosselin's fracture, V-shaped fracture distal end of the tibia. Toddler's fracture, undisplaced spiral fracture of the tibia. Next fracture, Port's fracture, bimalleolar ankle fracture. Aviator fracture, fracture of the neck talus occurs in aircraft crash whether the rudder bar is driven forcibly against the middle of the foot resulting in forced dorsiflexion of ankle. Next is the March fracture, stress fracture of the shaft of second and third metatarsal which occurs in fresh army recruits who march for long time heal spontaneously. Jones fracture, avulsion fracture of the base of the fifth metatarsal. Next is the miscellaneous fracture, buttonhole fracture with the loss of bone as in the gunshot wound. Next is the cuff fracture, 5th to 7th ribs fracture and dyscrasic fracture which is malnutrition fracture. Sprain fractures, fracture in which a ligament, capsule or tendon tears off a portion of the bone. Green stick fracture, bending of a bone with incomplete fracture involving the corner side of the bone only. Next is the pond fracture, depressed skull, fracture in infants. Next is the shepherd's fracture, fracture of the posterior process of talus. Next fracture, tripod fracture, trimalar fracture, involve the inferior orbital rim, lateral orbital wall and fracture, dislocation of zygomatic arc. Lefort fracture, fracture of maxilla, Lefort 1, Gurin's fracture, Lefort 2, pyramidal fracture, Lefort 3, craniofacial disjunction. Next is the motorcyclist fracture, fracture based of skull in the anterior and posterior halves. Malgagny fracture, but Next is the Malgagny fracture. It is a fracture, shear fracture of the pelvis. Next portion is types of negligence. First one is the medical negligence. These are two types, civil negligence and criminal negligence. 
Civil negligence is said to occur when patient demands monetary compensation for damage he she suffered due to doctor's negligence. Burden of proof lies on the patient. Next is the criminal negligence. When patient complains to police regarding the negligence of doctor and police registers a case, practically limited to case when the patient dies, criminal negligence can be of four types, section 336, section 337, section 338 and section 304A. Next is the patient negligence. Outright negligence by patient only, doctor is not negligent, example Lama, leave against medical advice, improper history, patient does not follow doctor's instructions, burden of proof lies on doctor. Contributory negligence, negligence by both the patient and doctor resulting in delayed recovery or harm the patient, the negligence of both parties has contributed to this harm. However, the doctor is expected to foresee that the patient may harm himself and warn to him Accordingly, without giving such a warning, doctor cannot plead contributed negligence. Contributed negligence is a good defense for the physician in civil cases but not in criminal cases. The burden of proving such as a negligence rests entirely on the doctor. Next is the composite negligence. Negligence is said to occur when a patient suffers injury as a result of combined negligence of two or more doctors. Corporate negligence. Corporate negligence is negligence of a corporation. Hospital individual doctors may or may not liable for the negligence. Next portion is the common drugs and its mechanism of action, clinical uses. First drug, amyloride, potassium sparing diuretic, amiodarone, class 3 antiarrhythmic, amlodipine, dihydropyridine, calcium channel blocker, benztropin, cholinergic antagonist, bromocryptin, dopamine, dopamine agonist, buspirone, generalized anxiety disorder, Bupropion, depression, smoking cessation, cimatidine, H2 receptor antagonist, citrazine, second generation antihistamine, chloramphenicol, antibiotic, chlordiposoxide, long acting benzodiazepine, chlorpromazine, typical antipsychotic, chlorpropamide, first generation sulfonylurea, chlorpafeniramine, first generation antihistamine, chlorthalidone, thiazide diuretic, clozapine, atypical antipsychotic, clomipramine, tricyclic antidepressant, clomiphene, selective estrogen receptor modulator, clonidine, alpha-2 agonist, doxepin, tricyclic antidepressant, doxazosin, alpha-1 antagonist, aplaridone, potassium sparing diuretic, propafenone, class IC in antiarrhythmic, floxetine, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, clopazine, typical antipsychotics, tuloxetine, serotonin or epinephrine reuptake inhibitors, Mifepristone, progesterone receptor antagonist, misoprostol, PGE1, synthetic analog, naloxone, opioid receptor antagonist, which treats toxicity, naltrexone, opioid receptor antagonist, prevents relapse, nitroprosite, hypertensive emergency, nitroglycin, antianginal, omeprazole, proton pump inhibitor, ketoconazole, antifungal, adipiprazole, atypical antipsychotic, anastrozole, aromatase inhibitors, rifaximin, Hepatic encephalopathy, rifampin, antimicrobial, sertraline, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, salicylin, MA, MAO B inhibitors, trazodone, insomnia, tramadol, chronic pain, venicillin, smoking cessation, and venlafaxine, serotonin, norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors. Next is the medications in pregnancy. Drugs contraindicated in pregnancy. Category X absolute contraindication thalidomide, aminoptarine, methotrexate. Busulfan, Crombusil, Cyclophosphamide, Phenytoin, Triazolam, Astazolam, Warfarin, Isotretinone, Clomiphene, Nicotine, Alcohol. Next is the Category D, Definitive Evidence of Fatal Risk. Tetracycline, Doxycycline, Streptomycin, Amicacin, Tobramycin, Phenobarbital, 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 Valproic Acid, Diazepam, Lurazepam, Aprazolam and Chlordiazepoxide, Lithium and Chlorothiazide. Next are the Chemicals, Lead, Bisphenol A, Phthalates. PFOA, methoxyl chlor, and potassium iodide. FDA pregnancy categories, these are five categories A, B, C, D, X. A is the control studies, shows no risk. Adequate, well controlled studies in pregnant women have failed to demonstrate risk to the fetus. B is no evidence of risk in humans. Either animal findings show risk, but human findings do not. Or if not, adequate studies have been, then animal findings are negative. C. Category risk cannot be ruled out. D category positive evidence of risk. X category contraindicated in pregnancy. Category C is confusing category. A medication gets this classification if there is insufficient data on its use during pregnancy. It could be safe or prob probably safe or it could be potentially harmful. Next are the selected drugs with significant adverse effects on the fetus. ACE inhibitors, all trimester contraindicated, renal damage. TCA. 
थर्ड ट्राइमेस्टर न्यूनेटल विड्रोल सिंड्रोम बार्बिटोरेट ऑल सामेस्टर ट्राइमेस्टर क्लोनिक यूज न्यूनेटल डिपेंडेंस कार्बामेजापाइन फर्स्ट ट्राइमेस्टर न्यूरल ट्यूब डिफेक्ट कोकेन टेमोक्सीफेन कॉन्टा इंडिकेटेड इन ऑल ट्राइमेस्टर साइड इफेक्ट रिस्क ऑफ स्पॉन्टेनियस अबोर्शन इथेनॉल कॉन्टा इंडिकेटेड इन ऑल थ्री ट्राइमेस्टर फिटल एल्कोहल सिंड्रोम एंड आयोडिन कॉन्टा इंडिकेटेड इन ऑल थ्री ट्राइमेस्टर साइड इफेक्ट कंजेंटल गोयटर हाइपोथरिजम लिथियम फर्स्ट ट्राइमेस्टर इंक्रीज इंटरऑक्टिव प्रेशर टोबैको ओल्ड ओल्ड ट्राइमेस्टर इंटर यूट्रेन ग्रोथ टेट्रासाइक्लिन ओल्ड ट्राइमेस्टर साइड इफेक्ट डिस्कलेशन ऑफ टिथ एंड एल्टर्ड बोन ग्रोथ थैल्डोमाइट एंड डी एस फर्स्ट ट्राइमेस्टर लिम्ब मालफॉर्मेशन डी एस कैंसर रिस्क इंक्रीज नेक्स्ट इज द वारफरिन ऑल थ्री ट्राइमेस्टर इन फर्स्ट ट्राइमेस्टर अल्टर्स रेस्पिरेटरी ट्रैक फॉर्मेशन सेकेंड सी एन एस मालफॉर्मेशन थर्ड रिस्क ऑफ ब्लीडिंग आई सी हेमरेज नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट पोर्शन इज द पॉसिबल इफेक्ट ऑफ इन्फेंट ऑफ सिलेक्टेड ड्रग्स यूज ड्यूरिंग लैक्टेशन टेट्रासाइक्लिन रिस्क ऑफ परमानेंट टूथ स्टेनिंग इन इन्फेंट आइसोनाइजाइड रिस्क ऑफ पैराडॉक्सिन डेफिशिएंसी इन इन्फेंट बाइबिटोरेट लिथार्जी सीडेशन एंड पुअर सक रिफ्लेक्सेज क्लोरल हाइड्रेट साइड इफेक्ट ड्राउजीनेस इन इन्फेंट फैड एट पीक डायजेपाम ड्रग एक्यूमुलेशन एंड सीडेशन मेथड ऑन रिस्क ऑफ विड्रोल इफ ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग स्टॉप आयोडिन थायरोड एंड सप्रेशन एंड रिस्क ऑफ कैंसर प्रोपाइल थायरोडेसिल कैंसर प्लस थायरोड फंक्शन इन इन्फेंट Next are the medications contraindicated in pregnancy. Vitamin E and its derivatives, including isotretinoin, acuton, or atretinate, significant risk of spontaneous abortion and risk of many significant anomalies. AC inhibitors may cause kidney damage in the fetus when used in second and third trimester. Decrease in the amount of amniotic fluid and deformities of face and limbs and lungs. Anticoagulants warfarin used during first trimester products defects in like nasal hypoplasia and depressed nasal bridge. Term as fetal warfarin syndrome used during second trimester and third trimester is associated with increased risk of fetal malformation. Heparin safe, but if taken for long time osteoporosis and decrease in number of platelets in pregnant women occurs. Estrogen and androgens genital tract malformations. Thyroid preparations. Methimazole overactive and enlarged thyroid gland. Carbimazole overactive and enlarged thyroid gland. Radioactive iodine underactive thyroid gland in fetus. and propyl thiouracil is safe in pregnancy next are the anti convulsants carbamazepine risk of birth defects phenytoin and phenobarbital side effects bleeding problem in the newborn which can be prevented by pregnant woman takes vitamin k by mouth every day for a month before delivery or if the newborn baby is given an injection of vitamin k soon after birth Trimethodione increased risk of miscarriage in the woman. Sodium valproate increased risk of birth defects in fetus, including a cleft palate and abnormalities of heart, face, skull, hands, and abdominal organs. Antidepressants: lithium. Birth defects mainly of the heart. Lethargy, decreased muscle tone, underactivity of the thyroid gland, and nephrogenic diabetes. Insipidus in the newborn. Abstinence anomaly: tricuspid valve malformation. Malfunction has been. reported in number of fetuses exposed to this drug and acids aspirin and other salicylates delay in the start of the labor premature closing of the ductus atriosus jaundice brain damage in the fetus and bleeding problems in the woman during and after delivery in the newborn next are the antibiotics tetracycline slowed bone growth permanent yellowing of the teeth and increased susceptibility to cavities in the body and the chloroamphenicol gray baby syndrome ciprofloxacin possibility of the joint abnormalities Canamycin, streptomycin, side effect damage to fetus, ears resulting in the deafness, result of ototoxicity. Sulfonamides, jaundice and brain damage in newborn. Antineoplastic agents, birth sulfan, birth defects such as less than expected growth before birth. Chlorambucil, under development of lower jaw, deficient cleft palate, abnormal development of skull, bones, spinal defects and ear defects and cleft foot. Oral hypoglycemic drugs, chlorpropamide and tolbutamide. a very low level of the sugar in the blood of newborn in adequate control of diabetes in the pregnant woman this video will end here all the best for your exam give your best thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe bye bye